Hey guys, and welcome back to Random Librarians on YouTube. Today I thought I would keep it pretty simple and also very much on brand and talk a little bit about how I became a librarian and how you can become a librarian. It's a little bit of um, several steps and also some of my advice in terms of what I did and what I think is the best way to do it. So let's just jump right in. <laughs> Firstly, you have to have the interest. And I don't just mean like reading. <laughs> Depending on what kind of library you want to work in, you're going to have a different level of customer service, but any library that you do work in has that sense of community and you need to have the interest and the inclination to help people with their literacy needs, their research, their learning of a second language, their X, Y, Z, any kind of other interest that they might have that they would come to a library for help. So I've found that a lot of librarians are actually motivated by something that is outside of just the personal. It's a drive to build that community. It's a drive to do something larger than just the self. Um, and if you have that interest, then I think libraries are a great place for you. Two, you got to do that research. So, like I said, libraries are more than just wanting time to read. And while a love of reading is a huge plus because it's a great place to start from in your conversations and in your community building, you don't actually get much more time to read when you're on shift at a library than you would in any other job. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're running story time, in which case you're reading, you know, children's books or singing or doing puppet shows or anything that goes into story time and makes story time fun and engaging. I think working or volunteering in a library before deciding to pursue the career is a great way to do that research in a very hands-on way, to make sure that it is something that you want to do. I had, I had several friends or several acquaintances in grad school who had never worked in a library before starting their MLS or their MLIS, which I found bananas. I, I mean, I just didn't really understand it. Higher education is so expensive, so why why put yourself in that situation if you're not 100% sure that this is the job for you and this is the career path that you want to follow? I'm just saying, it takes all kinds, but I think this is the best, the best kind of option before really signing your life away for however long the repayment plans last for. So three, this kind of goes hands in hands with the previous point, you have to get your MLIS. You can definitely work or volunteer in a library without having your degree, but a master's in library and information sciences is really the gold standard for becoming a full-time librarian. Do your research. You'll have to do a lot of with uh, research and have to do a lot of researching for this degree and after you get your degree, so might as well start before you even begin. <laughs> and I suggest you do your research to find the best school, the best scholarships, and the best course load really for you. There's a bunch of different ways that you can complete your MLIS um, and a bunch of different ways that you can take a degree in library and information sciences. I had a bunch of professors who used it in ways that I wouldn't have ever thought of that go beyond just like what a library is in a physical building. So try to keep like an open mind and also try to plan for what you think best fits your goals based on that research. I have friends who work in archives, I have friends who work in museums, I have friends who work in public libraries, private libraries, special libraries, school libraries. There's a little bit of everything and you know, it's not even just limited to those options that I put. I might think of making a video specific to my experience at Simmons University in Boston, so let me know in the comments if that is something that you would be interested in watching or hearing about. For you got to get that experience. So in grad school, I immediately started working as a library assistant in two public libraries when I, even before I started at Simmons. Uh, they were pretty far away <laughs> and took a little bit of 
time and uh, commuter rail expenses to get to them, but I was able to turn that those two experiences into a different job at another library that gave me more hours and better pay. And after about a year working there, I was able to turn that into a full-time job for my last year in grad school. So it does take a little bit of time, it does take a lot of effort, but you can kind of finagle your way to where you wanna be, even while you're still in grad school. And that sets you up so much better for this likely pretty competitive field after you've graduated. I know for Boston, Simmons has full classes of people wanting to stay in the city after we graduate and we're all kind of going after the same jobs. So if you can build up your experience while you're still in school, it just sets you up that much better for after school and the job hunt. <laughs> Five, I mean, I would just say have fun with it. If this is a field that you want to get into, I am probably pretty biased, but I think it is a great field. I think it is a great job. Yes, it has its issues. That's a different video, but I've found a lot of joy in what I do every day, and I hope that the same will be said for you if you decide to get your degree and launch into this world of libraries. So I hope that was somewhat helpful. I tried to keep it a little quick and succinct, but I don't know, I had fun making it and thinking about this topic. <laughs> I had fun making it and thinking about this topic because, you know, I haven't actually sat down and been like, hmm. These are the specific steps that I think worked well for me and that I think would work well for other people. So if you agree, please let me know in the comments down below. If you think I missed something, please let me know as well because I would love to hear your thoughts <laughs> and possibly make a, an amendment to this video if enough kind of amazing thoughts get brought up. So that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy kind of longer form, reviews of books or bookish things, this is the place for that. If you like more static or short form things, you can find me on Instagram at random librarians. I hope I'll see you either here or there and see you soon. Bye guys.